Hello all and welcome to this strategy video of CA Foundation Mathematics. So today we'll focus on which chapters have how much weightage and what is the speciality of each chapter. What should you focus on inside of each chapter and how you can form your own strategy. Okay, understand if whenever you start preparing for the first time, it is most important to have your concepts clear. Conceptual understanding is must for any CA exam. You cannot just focus on, you know, uh, getting 40 marks, 50 marks or just, just the shortcuts or tricks, that is not going to work. Your conceptual understanding, all the concepts in module, all the MTPs, all the past papers, all the questions in module, relevant questions. If you are done with all this, then no one can stop you from getting 70, 80 marks in exam. So that is most important. However, it is also important to balance that with strategy. That is, you have to optimize your time. For example, you cannot focus like 15-20 days on chapters of derivatives integration that is not going to help you in exam. So that is what we will discuss today. Also before we start one more thing, many students ask me, sir what should I study in last 15 days, last 30 days, last 45 days. So what I say is, there cannot, I mean I cannot tell you what to study. I can tell you how to create your strategy. You have to create it on your own. Only then you'll be able to cover everything that is relevant to you. Why? For example, maybe one student feels that chapter of indices and logarithm is very difficult. Someone else feels that it is very easy. Okay. Now, if I give one strategy and say that study indices and logarithm for two days, study TVM for five days and so on, that is mathematics of finance. So that is not going to work. Okay. So don't follow someone else's strategy. Create your own strategy and follow that. That is the most important thing. So today we'll discuss how to create that strategy so that you yourself can apply it in any, not just maths in any subject, right? Fine. So let us uh, first discuss the section wise weightage and along with that we'll see the speciality of each chapter. So obviously everyone knows uh, three parts the syllabus is divided into. Also one more thing in exam questions don't come like this first 40 questions of maths then questions of logical reasoning then 40 questions of statistics that does not happen all questions are mixed okay in mtp ici gives it this way but that does not happen in final exam so in final exam question 1 might be statistics question 2 might be logical reasoning anything right also it may happen that first 10 questions of exam are very difficult so students lose their morale, Are this is going to be a very difficult exam, but after that maybe the exam is easy, right? You don't know. So questions are all random. So don't focus on that. Hmm, fine. So in 40 marks, uh, 40 marks of mathematics part, 20 to 30 percent weightage is given to first three chapters. 20 to 30 percent means what? Let me change this color. Okay. So that is 8 to 12 marks are going to be there for first three chapters. Now first three chapters by itself is very large syllabus. Why? Because first chapter is ratio, proportion, indices, logarithm, everything. I personally feel that when a student is very confident with indices, he is generally very good with ratio, proportion, logarithm, equation. He or she is very good generally with uh, other chapters. Why? Because indices is going to be there uh, in every other chapter, right? Square, square root, cube, cube root, whatever. That is going to be there in nearly every other chapter where you have equations. So focus more on indices. Be thorough with your concepts of indices. Also, there are a few shortcuts in this chapter. So in this chapter, basically, you have to focus on concepts necessarily, mandatorily, because concepts of indices and logarithm also are very important. Then there are calculator shortcuts, which are also important for especially indices, logarithm. Hmm. I have already uploaded videos of calculator shortcuts on the channel so you can go through those. But if you study this then you are going to have that confidence. This is the basic of your entire syllabus. Hmm. ICI has introduced a new concept called time and work related problem which is very important. This, these type of questions are already there in exams like CAT or you know other management entrance exams. So ICI has introduced this in CA Foundation also. I have uploaded separate videos on concepts of this. So understanding concepts and shortcuts is again important for this part also. 
shortcuts why because time and work related problems look difficult but they are not really difficult okay if you know the shortcuts you can solve them in 30 40 seconds so that is just focus on that even if one or two questions come in exam you will easily score two marks with not much efforts okay you will just have to give like one or two days to study this concept and practice the problems that's it you are done right equations now equations chapter is generally easy in equations most of the times you can focus on going by options okay in most of the questions of equations you can go by options take options substitute in the question most of the questions of equation can be solved this way however it is important to understand properties of quadratic equations because those questions cannot be solved by options most of the times so in equations your focus should be on understanding the concept but generally these concepts are easy everyone knows them from school but having uh, knowledge about all the properties of quadratic equations and ability to go by options is very important in this chapter linear inequalities is uh, i mean most students ignore this chapter but i would suggest don't ignore it because i'll tell you the reason why in exam obviously this might have just one or two questions most likely right linear inequalities but the questions are nearly always only of two to three patterns one is create inequalities that is form the inequalities so they'll give uh, you need five units of material a six units of material b and you have to prepare the inequality okay so that is going to be one question other question is plot the inequality on graphs obviously you don't have to plot you just have to tick the option or third is they'll give the graph and they'll ask you the inequality so there are only three types of concepts major concepts in this chapter so don't skip this chapter if you study this you'll easily get those one or two marks right so don't skip that also this chapter is important from the point of view of your future uh, syllabus so in inter when you go to costing in final when you go to strategic uh, management related concepts multidisciplinary case study and all it is very important to have an understand basic understanding of linear inequalities to visualize how you can optimize something how you can reduce your cost how you can maximize your profit so don't skip that this is a short chapter just three main concepts that's it all right there are other small concepts but if you have knowledge of these three then you can solve everything else right so these 8 to 12 marks are relatively easy okay if you are clear about concepts of indices and law next is the most important section those students who don't have much time if you think ki exam aa raha hai and time hi nahi hai mere paas if you think that exam is just 30 days 40 days uh, coming and you don't have time you have not studied much then your first focus should be on mathematics of finance because 30 to 40% weightage means this single chapter has 40 marks into 30% that is 12 to 16 marks weightage which is very high okay so this chapter is majorly focused on obviously again conceptual clarity is must but along with that calculator shortcuts being fast with your calculator is very important in simple interest is easy but in compound interest there are formulas which we can which you can use to get your answers in 10 seconds instead of one or two minutes okay concept of annuity is again very important all the concept all four concepts that is annuity due and regular and in both of them present value and future value so present value of annuity due future value of annuity due present value of annuity regular future value of annuity regular having knowledge of all these along with the conceptual clarity and shortcuts is very important i have already uploaded videos on this and there is a revision batch also uploaded so you can go through that hmm. because concept of annuity itself is going to be there in sinking funds also in emi also because they are i mean there is nothing different in those concepts right having knowledge of present value and future value is important uh, okay i'll tell you why ici has given this much weightage because in your life as a chartered accountant this is going to be the most important chapter of mathematics for you because wherever you go whether you want to invest something whether you want to take a loan whether you want to advise others on investment or loan or whether you want to from accounting point of view if you want to uh, make some provisions if you want to make some estimates tvm that is mathematics of finance or time value of money is always going to be important so conceptual clarity is must that's why ICI has given most weightage to this chapter 
Well, everything has calculator shortcuts in this chapter. So study those and you'll be able to solve this fast. Because if you're able to clear these 12 to 16 questions in like around, uh, if, if there are 16 questions, if you're able to solve them in 20 minutes, then that gives you a huge advantage. Okay, that gives you a huge advantage in the two hours of exam. Why? Because then you have 100 minutes remaining. Okay, there are 120 minutes in total, right? So you have 100 minutes remaining for remaining 84 questions. So that is because understand some chapters are going to take time while solving but TVM is not mathematics of finance is not one of them this is going to be the fastest uh, answer producing questions right so you have to be able to use your calculator clear many students skip this part compounded annual growth rate nominal and effective rates of returns re nominal real and effective rates of returns so that is not really necessary why because if you i mean this is this will not take time this is just this is nothing but concept of compound interest so if you have studied compound interest then you must be able to do this and if you are able to do this then you'll easily get those one or two marks if questions come on this right so don't skip so it is not required to skip these th chapters see if you want to skip something in mathematics i suggest don't skip anything but if you want to skip something be smart and skip chapters like integration rather than skipping chapters like this CAGR or nominal effective rate of return or NPV. Many students don't know what is net present value. I mean, don't why do that, right? That is a simple concept. If you know annuity, if you know compound interest, then this is going to be easy. Right? Fine. Now, next is, now this is the biggest set. Four chapters combined together which have 12 to uh, 20 marks right now again permutations and combinations this according to me this is the chapter where you need to have the most conceptual clarity because you cannot rely on shortcuts or going by options in permutations and combinations you cannot go by options okay you need conceptual clarity you, you must know what is the formula only then you'll be able to get the answer so conceptual clarity is must for this chapter Additionally, this chapter is required for probability and probability and theoretical distribution also. Theoretical distribution. Both of these chapters also have a good weightage. So understanding permutations and combinations is important. Sequence and series is a relatively easy chapter because in most of the cases you can go by options. Wherever possible in exam, whatever is the chapter, whatever is the question, always your first thing, first try should be going by options. If you can go by options, do that. Otherwise, go to solve the question. So in sequence and series, most of the cases you can go by options. But additionally, there are certain formulas which you need to remember. Okay. I mean, obviously everyone knows basic formulas of uh, sum of AP, sum of GP and nth term of AP, nth term of GP. But you must remember sum of n terms of uh, natural first n natural numbers <laughs> sum of squares of first n natural numbers sum of cubes of first n natural numbers and so on because that will give you an advantage for a couple of questions hmm. now 7 and 8 okay many students don't understand that there is a relation between this chapter and this chapter okay so don't do that. If you if you directly study derivatives or integration, then you are not going to have any interest in it. So don't do that. Don't directly study it. Just understand the concept first. Understand what is a function, what are different types of functions that is clearly given in the module properly. Okay. And uh, institute also asks questions on that. So don't skip that. Mostly students do what? They just study sets. And they ignore relations, functions, derivatives and integration. So don't do that. It is not that difficult. If you have time, then I would suggest definitely do this because that is going to increase your conceptual clarity. So understanding sets is obviously important because sets have a lot of questions on union intersection word problems and that requires practice. So for sets, practice is the only option. There is generally no scope to go by options you cannot go by options there is no shortcut as such practice practice is the most important thing understanding relations and functions is important because if you understand it clearly 
then you will be able to understand this new chapter that is introduced by ICAI in a proper manner which is limits and continuity. Okay. If you don't know what is functions, what are functions or relations, then this chapter will feel very difficult to you. So don't do that. Understand concept of functions. Then from that, go to the concept of continuous functions, non-continuous or discontinuous functions. Then go to concept of continuity and then go to concepts of limits. From limits, if you go to concept of derivatives and then to the concept of integration, then that is going to be easiest for you to understand. So while studying for the first time, your focus should be on understanding sets. From sets, you can go to relations. From relations, you can go to functions. From functions, you can go to continuity. From continuity, you can go to limits and then derivatives and then integration. Obviously, again, if, if you don't have time, okay, if your exam is now just two months away, then I personally suggest you can ignore these two chapters if you are not good at them right now. But if your exam is five, six months away and still you are ignoring this, then that does not make any sense. That means you are throwing away your good marks, okay. Because if you study this entire set of chapters, okay, then you can definitely get around 8 to 10 marks at least, right? So don't skip that. That is a very important chapter. So this was about the mathematics part of the uh, syllabus. In next video, we'll focus on the statistics part and then we'll also discuss the logical reasoning part. But this mathematics part, if you see, okay, it feels like it is too much syllabus. But if you divide it into parts, it is not much. Understand? Ratio, proportion, indices, log, equation and linear inequalities all are related chapters there is no new concept as such okay because you need concept of indices for concept of ratios and equations you need to be able to solve equations equations are chahiye. if you are able to solve equations then you'll be able to solve ratios and proportions if you are able to solve equations then you'll be able to form linear inequalities so they are related chapters just one chapter as such then TVM is by itself a big chapter and very important chapter. Calculator shortcuts are very important. Mathematics of finance. And permutations combinations is a different set. Like I said, conceptual clarity is most important for that chapter. Sequence and series, you need to understand all the formulas logically. And you must be able to go by options. And last two chapters are all interrelated. So if you study one, then study everything because it is not difficult. If you study from basics, it will be easy. But if you don't have time, if you have just 30, 40 days till exam, then you can skip. Now, like I said, how to form strategy on this? Okay. Try to assess what you are lacking in. Okay. Try to solve questions. Try to score yourself. Okay. See which chapters are difficult for you. difficult Where you feel that it is difficult or where you feel that it is easy for you mark that okay then from your own point of view do an abc analysis that is how much marks how many marks this chapter has and how good i am with it then assign time accordingly okay if you have 40 days 50 days 90 days or if you have six months then assign time to those those chapters accordingly and then start studying whenever you are studying let's say you study for example permutations and combinations then you go to sequence and series. Then you go to maybe indices or uh, mathematics of finance. Don't forget to revise previous chapters. Whenever you are taking up next chapter, quickly <coughs> go through all the concepts of previous chapters. For this, it is most important to have your own formula notebook. You must have a notebook where you have written every concept and formula in short. I have already uploaded a formula video, marathon video on the channel, where I have also provided PDF of a formula notebook. But still, I suggest do not use ready-made PDFs, do not use ready-made notes. It is most important to prepare your own notes, only then you will be able to remember that. If someone else has done all the work for you and you just have to read and memorize it, then that is not going to help you. Okay? If you have any doubts about planning strategy, you can reach out to me in the comments or on Telegram. I will definitely help you. I will not give you a ready-made strategy, but I will help you in guiding you how to prepare your own strategy. Okay? So I hope this was helpful to everyone. In next video, we'll meet for statistics part. So bye everyone and all the best.